Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an old tune by Ray Charles called What Did I Say? And it starts with a really, really cool guitar riff where you play the low E string, and then we're going to play 2nd fret on the A twice, and then open D, and then 2nd fret on the D. So we got open E, 2 on the A, 2, 2, open D, 2 on the D, open E, 2 on the A, open D, 2nd fret on the D. going to be going to a really cool riff around the A where we're basically just moving that lick by a string. We're going to play the open A string and then second fret on, on the A string twice and then open D and then second fret on the D. So we're just kind of changing that very first note, that first bass note. So we're going to open A, two, two, open, two. So we got open A, second fret on the A twice, open D, second fret on the D. Swift again where we got open E, two, two, O, two, O, two, two, O, two. And then we go to a variation on that where we're kind of moving it um, up a couple frets where we go second fret on the A for a B note. And then we're gonna go D string on the second fret, and then or on the fourth fret twice. So we're going second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D twice, and then second fret on the G, and then fourth fret on the G. So we got two, four, four, two. Go back to kind of our A idea where we go open A and then two two O two and then we go back to the E idea from the beginning the O two two O two O two two O two. So all together you got the E E E E E E E that are kind of getting implied are, are all around a 12 bar blues form and it starts on an E major chord. The way you play E major, first finger is going to go G on the first fret, second finger on the A on the second fret, third finger on the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, it makes an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And we're going to do the E major four times and then from the E major we're going to go to an A major chord. The way you play A major, first finger is going to go D on the second fret, Second finger on the G on the second fret, and the third finger on the B on the second fret. So it's a big party on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, then that's an A major. It sounds really, really happy. We're going to do the A a couple times, and then we're going to go back to the E major. And then we do another E major. And then we're going to go into a B7 chord. The way you play B7, first finger is going to go D on the first fret. Second finger is going to go A on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the G on the third fret. And the pinky is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And with a B7, you want to avoid the thick E, so you want to just kind of play the A string and the high E string. And I'm actually kind of taking my second finger with the E and kind of running it into that string to kind of it out. And then from B7, which sounds a little nasty and it's supposed to, uh, we're going to go back to the A, and then we're going to go back to an E major, and then do another B7. So that's kind of our form all the way through. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the E and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up. fret on the B string and we're going to slide that to fifth fret so we're going to kind of play it and keep a little pressure on the string to get the sound to kind of carry to fifth fret and then we're going to add in a lot more fifth frets and then there's kind of a tag to that where we go fifth on the B and then third fret on the B and then fourth fret on the G and then third fret on the G 
then his second fret on the G, and then open G, and then his second fret on the D, and then open D. So we got three five slide. kind of pick up on the A major right after that break. So we got A major down up. break and I'm cheating this slightly but, um, but but this can be a really really cool easy way to do this next break is you do the open G string and we're gonna do a hammer on to the first fret on the G string so we're going to open first hammer on so I'm kind of playing the open G and putting my finger down to kind of get the sound to carry over to the first fret and then playing open E so we're going oh And then there's kind of a tag to that where you go third on the B string, and then second fret on the B string, and then open B string. So we got O, one, O, one, O, one, O, one, O, three, two, O. And then we kind of pick it back up on the A major where we got the A down. So then we got open G, and then we're going to play some more open G, and then go to second fret on the D, and then more open G, and then two on the D, and then second fret on the B, and then open G, and then second fret on the D, and then open D, and then second fret on the D twice. So we got open G. Pick up our form again on the A, where we got the A down, down, up, up, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down. And then we got another break um, where we're going second fret on the D, and we're gonna do that eight times. Open G eight times, and then we're gonna do a second fret on the A eight times. And then there's kind of a cool way there where you could go open A and do a hammer on the first fret and then second fret on the A. So we got open one, two, it's kind of a double hammer on, and then second fret on the D, and then open A, and then third fret on the low E, and then open E, and then going back to second fret on the D. So that last part you got O one two two O three O two. So that whole break you got two 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 O two 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 O one two two O. And then we kind of be picking our form back up on the A. So we got an A down down. We're gonna do a big down on E and kind of kill it with the strings. And then there's kind of a, a lick right there where you go a second fret on the A and then open D and then you play the E and kill it again. So you got E major kill it and then two open D E and kill it. And then we kind of pick up our form again on the A where we got the A down. Pick it back up on the A down, down, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down. And then those parts kind of get repeated.
until we kind of get to uh, our, our outro part, like after the, the talking part of the tune, where we actually just kind of adhere to that form that we started with, where we got the E down, down, up, up, down, up, basics of how you could play what did I say by Ray Charles but this is working off a traditional 12 bar blues form and there are a couple other videos that, that, that I've made that you may want to check out just to kind of have other things to add to it and one would be for Before You Accuse Me by Eric Clapton where, where I talk more about uh, e, e licks and A licks you know they kind of kind of go along with that and another one if you're interested more in, in lead guitar playing you might want to check out the video that I made for Lucille where I go over E minor pentatonic scale and the E major pentatonic scale across the fretboard so but that's the basics of how you can play What Did I Say by Ray Charles so good luck <laughs>